In Core Project 6, we try to understand why and under what conditions farmers accept these technologies and use them to develop more sustainable crop production systems. The research in Core Project 6 helps to understand how these technologies transform the farming system. And with this knowledge that we generate, we can um, help policymakers to design agricultural and environmental policy, policies that help to um, regulate you know, this, you know, the new technologies and their use. Um, in addition, uh, we can give feedback to the um, technology developers because we learn about the needs of farmers, crop breeders, other involved actors and society as a whole. Uh, and they are then able to adapt their technologies uh, to these needs. Finally, our knowledge helps farmers to optimize, also our tools that we develop helps farmers to optimize um, their management. And in particular, we aim at uh, developing uh, an, em an empirically informed modeling system, which we call a virtual laboratory, that was, would help us to simulate scenarios of how these technologies disseminate across populations of farms and that also help us to simulate the potential impacts of these uh, dissemination patterns in ecological, social and economic dimensions. And once we can do that, we will be able to inform policymakers about what kinds of policies are likely to improve the dissemination of technologies and how the dissemination patterns can then contribute to positive impacts and transformations of crop production. I think four highlights are important to mention. Uh, first, we have compiled and analyzed a huge global database of technology adoption studies that helps us to characterize the various factors and contextual conditions under which farmers adopt different types of technologies. Secondly, we are currently running a number of innovative observational and experimental studies quantifying the factors that determine adoption of technologies at farm scale, in particular digital innovations and sensing and robotics technologies. And third, we are developing approaches using machine learning to uh, upscale farm scale models uh, and help simulate various scenarios of technology diffusion and impacts uh, at regional scales. And finally, we have developed award-winning simulation tools that can be used in uh, advice to farmers. One example is the Fruchtfolge tool.